is the life of a gas fireball. Kind of pretty boring, actually. <laughs> Guy360, and today I am here to be continuing my command, my commands tutorial, which is which is called basic Minecraft basic commands tutorial, about as basic as it gets. That, that kind of sounded weird, but anyway, I also have some really good news. Obviously, I'm back, and um, so if you ever want, if you want me to make a video or something, or you wanted to do something with me, I'm back, and yeah. Um, also, some more news. Today actually happens to be my birthday, which is pretty nice. I just that I, I just thought I'd mention that. I'm not really doing any special celebration on YouTube, not really, but you know, since I'm just starting out. But you know, and um, I also um, for you guys who um, for you fans, um, y I'm always saying join the Power Club at the end of my videos. That's what I call my group of subscribers, but also, if you want to, um, you know, if you want to, um, like, see things like teasers or suggest, um, ideas for videos and mods, um, which, uh, just, um, just join that, and, um, s there will be, and I will, that will be where I will be posting some teasers for videos and stuff, so, anyway, yeah, so, um, Sorry about that, but let's get started. So, the first one is Toggle Downfall now. Since I'm using a preset. That was creepy. Those sounds are weird. But anyway, so um, since I'm in a desert biome, as you can see, um, because of the preset I'm using um, for Super Flat, Red Some Ready, um, it. It doesn't really actually rain in the desert, but, um, but if I, uh, let's see, yeah, it's the, like desert, but if I, um, do slash toggle downfall anyway, toggle downfall, which will make it rain or stop raining, and if you're in the, if you're in a normal biome, if you're in a snow or ice biome, it'll snow instead, and as you can see, it's not actually raining, but the sky has just, um, gotten very dark, and, if we were in a different biome, it would be either raining or snowing right now. So let's just toggle that again. Before, when I've seen that, I thought it was a glitch when I was in a desert biome. But then I w went and I'm, oh, it's raining. But anyway, um, yeah. So the next one is um, summon lightning. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. You just um, I'm just doing things. By the way, in this video, I'm just covering things I haven't. Um, some new things, and as well as things I forgot to cover in my last video. And I've set up signs and command blocks so that I don't forget. So, so some. Of <laughs> and that was so loud. Oh my goodness! Let me just turn down my volume just this tad. All right. Now let's see here. Um, how about I spawn? A creeper really quick like this and let's summon in some birthday lightning so uh how many blocks are you no 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 stop it yeah go in the pit that's it yes okay let's just uh get in stuck in a little spot there and slash summon uh lightning light lightning bolt and here's how the coordinates work so uh oh by the way where am i facing uh, i'm facing towards positive z so uh so let's see here so, so summon lightning bolt um no x uh i have to do negative two because it's two blocks be he's two blocks below me and then uh one and that should hit it. <laughs> Please don't explode. Okay, good. You're not gonna explode. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. It's 
turning to night. Let me just switch that back to day. Ugh. Great. I hate it. Seriously? How many times am I going to fail this? But, yeah, some of these are signs and others are command blocks. I want to do type in the basic commands but manually but if you watched my last video some of those really long commands took a long time and this video might already be kind of long i'm not sure yet but i had a long intro but um i don't want this to make to make this any longer than i have to but i also want to show you how to type in some of the commands and i'm going and i'm going to paste all command block commands in the description by the way so anyway Teleport to chosen location. I showed you how to teleport to other players and how to teleport them to you. But if you want to teleport them or yourself to a special location, rather than to just someone else, here's what you need to do. So as you can see, there's this four block ditch, and I need to get across to that diamond block. And I just made that so I can show you that actually worked. So slash TP Power Game for 60 or your player name. Um. Then you just type in this, so I'm facing towards X right now, guys, positive X. I looked that up in uh, the coordinates, so um, that's Y. You can go up and down, that's Z. You can go right and left, stuff like that. Just be careful that you check your coordinates first so you don't accidentally teleport to a bad spot or suffocate in, oh, in blocks or anything like that. So let's just do this, and as you can see, I just teleported right next to the diamond blocks, and let's do it again. And I teleported through the diamond blocks. Pretty cool. Oh, great. I gotta have to... See, guys, this actually... This actually works. See, like, toggle downfall actually works even in the desert. But, yeah. Set new spawn points. So, uh, I'm just gonna kill myself right here. That. And, as you can see, my spawn point's right here. I actually preset it to this. So, I... When I start after I finish my display... But, um, anyway, so, I want to set my spawn point to here. So, let's just set slash spawn point. It's, no, it's really simple. Now, if I slash kill myself again, and then I go back, I've spawned in here. Which is really cool. It's useful. You don't, you can just automatically choose where you want to spawn. Now, here comes some of the interesting parts. Custom cats, guys. So, the first is easier to summon stray cats so um what you want to do is so um you just summon ozolot make sure it's ozolot not ocelot even though it's not the proper spelling um that's just how the command works i don't know why but anyway maybe it's the proper spelling where they made it i'm not sure but anyway um i just type in the coordinates and um this was just on a normal ocelot, but you can change the ocelot's texture. It's not actually changing any properties other than the texture when you're doing these special commands, but it's still really cool. So anyway, cat type. So, zero would be the normal ocelot. One, I think, would be tuxedo. Let's try it. And, yep. See, he's a bit bigger than a normal cat. And, uh, there, buddy, you can go. I said you can go. I said you can go. Uh. Okay, there we go. Seems like he was a little freaked out there. And then, uh, two is, um, two, I believe. I'm just doing this so you know which, which type you want. Oh, that's Tabby, and I'm guessing three would be Siamese. You could, technically, cat type zero is, uh, the normal ocelot, so if you want to an ocelot you could do this but you might as well just do slash summon ocelot and not even worry about all this stuff because uh it does the exact same thing and oh jeez i got i got ocelots and stray cats everywhere now oh jeez but anyway then here's the cool thing now you can use this remember the numbers one is uh uh tuxedo two is tabby three is siamese but you can also um, summon a t using the exact same property. Why is there a stone block up there? Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, if you, you can use these ex same properties to summon a tame ocelot. Now you can also summon a tame cat if you just don't want to bother taming a cat. But you can also, but this is really cool because you can't get this just by taming an ocelot. So you slash summon ocelot. Um, then you do this. But then. Before cat type, you do owner, 
like this, and then you type in your player name, and then you put a comma, and then you do all that stuff, and um, and then if I click this, it looks like normal ocelot. Although if you know, if you look closely, it's a little bit smaller. And if I right click him, he sits. Hi. So here you can just uh here just um sometimes they get buggy in like the normal super flat worlds for some reason sometimes ocelots do i don't really know why maybe it's because the level's so low but anyway yeah hi buddy so um yeah oh by the way if you tame one of these stray cats there's only a one in three chance um like if you wanted to make a cool mini game where you have to tame stray cats or something um um, there's only one in three chance they'll turn out to be their normal texture. They could turn out, they could turn into one of the other cats. I've tested it out. It looks weird, but the properties all make sense. Anyway, enough of that geek talk. Uh, now to some of the secret blocks. So, first is the piston head. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, if you update the blocks out, out of these set blocks, um, they will go away. But anyway, here's the commands. Plus, set up to piston head pretty basic then if you want it to be um be the opposite you can do one and then you can do uh two three four and five i like i like one that one kind of looks like a table but uh yeah, it's like a little table without having to place a piston in the floor. What do you think, buddy? Huh? What do you think? Tell me! Okay. You said me out. That's good enough. Okay, the next one, brown mushroom block. Uh, I'm The ones I can, I used falling sand so you can actually collect them. Now, when it falls, it's going to look like it's one of the in mushroom interiors, which we'll get to in a minute. But it turns into a mu brown mushroom block when it drops. So watch this. So I used flower pots to drop them. And look. Pretty cool. And block updates will not destroy them. Which is also good since you're actually placing them. Next is the red mushroom block. Which is this? Which is like this? Which is also cool. Two really cool textures to build your houses out of. If you want to build like a Mario theme or something, that's really cool. Um, next is the mushroom stem. This is another set block, so these are pretty glitchy. But you do this, uh, and actually, the cool thing is, um, some of these this this one doesn't get triggered by block updates, but I you kind of have to keep typing in the command, which is a little annoying. And then the mushroom interior. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you the command, so. Just this for, uh. Yeah, just this for the, uh, brown mushroom block. Uh, this for the red. Uh, this for the mushroom stem. And, uh, this for the. You just type in normal brown mushroom block just to get that mushroom interior. And there's also. If you add data tags, you can make them, uh. You can make all of them, like, you could customize the faces and stuff, but that gets really geeky and it would take a long time. So anyway, next, bark-covered logs. And I also have bark-covered newer logs, because the newer logs that were added, I think, um, 1.7, point, uh, 1.7, I think that was when they were added, I'm not sure, but, but they have a log 2 in them, so. As you can see, that summons a full oak log, which is pretty cool, see? It's it's like uh, all the way around. Now, if you just get this, you can just get a normal wood log, and there's not really a way to drop it. And uh, you can make this one uh, to get spruce. Oh no, that's the same. You can make it two to get. Uh, you can make the data tag two to get spruce. Spruce. Oh, oh. Pfft. No, you can make it. Uh, you can make it third. That was dumb. Anyway, you can make it. 13 to make it spruce wood, 14 for birch, and 15 for jungle wood. Yeah, jungle wood. Okay. And I think I'm going to switch that to spruce because spruce is pretty cool. 
And uh, anyway, so bark cover newer logs is just log two and then twelve and thirteen. So uh, yeah, I, I think it works the same way. You can customize all the different faces on these two, which is why. But then there's thirteen, which uh, is the dark oak. Yeah. So uh, barrier blocks. So let's. This is pretty easy. Slash give. Then your player name. Um. Mm, then you do Minecraft. I don't even know if you need to do Minecraft. And then, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Barrier, and then you do this, barrier. And it does this, and if you place them, oh, uh, hang on. I need to turn on my particles. Why did I turn my particles off? Why? But when you place them, you see this little thing, but when... But when this happens, um, as you will see in a minute, it will go it away, but it works just like a normal block, which is pretty cool. You can uh, you can spawn mobs on it. Looks like there's a levitating creeper there. And let's get rid of you, man. Just get out of here. You know what? Just get out of here. Scare him away, cat. Just scare him away. Keep him away from me. Uh, yeah, just, we'll just sit there. Whichever you prefer, but anyway, it's kind of my fault, but all right. And uh, let's get rid of this. Um, gassed fireballs. These are cool. This is the gassed fireball. I love gassed guys. So this is the command. So you want to do slash summon fireball. I just did the coordinates here so it doesn't trash the sign if I hit it correctly. Explosion power, then you type it in, it can go like all the way up to 150 or something. I'm not sure, maybe even 255. I'm not sure, but it can. But trust me, if it's at 50 or 100, it is so powerful. Oh my goodness, it's like as powerful as some of the TNT and some of these more TNT mods. But anyway, um, but anyway, I'm gonna do one because I think that's pretty much on um, the normal thing. Then I'll show you five, just to <coughs> excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, have a little problem there, but, um, anyway, I th clear my throat or something, but, uh, explosion power, one, um, direction, and you don't really need to fill these in. If you do, then it just starts flying off and then stops eventually, which is pretty interesting. I'll paste this in here so you can copy and paste, paste it, and, oh, whoops, that was a dirt moment, but anyway, so, here we go. I was, like, pushing my arrow keys instead of a S W and Yes, I got them right. Okay, so uh, ha. Oh, la, la. they're actually pretty big, and uh, you don't even need something. But if you're in survival, you might want to hit it with the diamond sword. But <laughs> wow, I hit that one far. But look, see, it just creates a little explosion here and uh, some fire, just like a normal gas fireball would. And uh, whoops. <coughs> Well, that was bad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm a bit terrible there. But let's change this to five, and then I'll show you something else cool you can do with the fireballs. So, five. This is going to be one second. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that fire. I'm not even going to go up to ten. Cause as you can see, that's already created a pretty decent explosion there, and plus loads of fire, so... These are, and that was only explosion power five, guys. Only five, so that is a uh, pretty powerful. But anyway, so another thing, get out of here, fire! Just get out of here. We don't want you here. I'm not afraid of that giant explosion that was kind of supposed to happen. But anyway, so let's just change the. Ex Does it work if there's explosion power zero? So it doesn't grief at all. I wonder. If is it? Oh dear. Oh, that's cool. It's like doesn't grief anything, so you can just um use it to hurt enemies and not actually set fire to anything, which is not actually grief anything. So, so let's just summon one of these and let's go into spectator mode slash game mode. I'm almost done, guys. <laughs> I hope. And uh, so then you just left click it and. Am I traveling? But I'm pressing F5, and I'm actually a gassed fireball. This is me. This is... 
this is glitchy, but this is what I can see as a gas fireball. The life of this is the life of a gas fireball. Kind of pretty boring, actually. But <laughs> anyway, so let's just um get out of here and uh get out of here. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, um, we have flying car and falling blocks mini game, which is fun ideas for this. So flying car, we're gonna need a potion of invisibility for this. You'll see why in a minute. Splash potion of. Uh, oh come on. Uh, jeez. Uh, I'm very bad at getting things from the inventory fast. I just am. Okay. And let's get some milk in case I accidentally splash myself. I hate milk in real life, but it's useful in Minecraft. Anyway, so, um, summon minecart one riding a bat. So it's basically just summoning a minecart riding a bat. If you watched the previous video, you'd learn how to stack pretty much anything. And, um, so this is pretty easy command. And as you can see, it's a flying car that you can ride on. But if you spray it with a potion of come on. Come on, so annoying. No, no. Maybe if I just start. Is it? Oh, yeah. Let me just turn off my particles. Maybe that's why my particles were off. But anyway, so you can't see the particles. And uh, let's slash clear, too. That's another command you can do slash clear to get rid of all your items. And let's just. Uh, what? Oh. Oh yeah 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 Do I still have an okay I don't alright get out of here milk and um and let's ride it ride ride it yes ha <laughs> I'm riding my very own fine car can't control it but it looks awesome now get out of here bat ah diamond sword so annoying this fine car you know what? Let's just let it be there. It's cool. Get out of here, Milk. I don't want you. Jeez. Alright. I don't need anything, actually. So, let's just, uh... Because this is just falling sand. Falling blocks many games, what I call it. And jeez. Good thing here, so... Yeah. And, um... Oh, Ocelot there is just sitting there looking in the opposite direction. Like, you're so boring, Power Guy. You're so boring. But anyway, <laughs> probably am in this video. But anyway, falling blocks mini game. So you just do slash this basic slash summon falling sand game. I did this just to make it more more dramatic. And uh, basically, you don't. This is the version where you don't look at the ID list. And um, basically, what happens is you have no idea what will happen. Sometimes you could get chests that don't show up until they get to the ground. You can get liquids. You can get um blocks you can get there's lots of them that will spawn nothing or just normal sand because they um aren't blocks or just aren't real ids um but um it's just a interesting mini game i know one is stone let's type in i don't want to do 8 to 11 or s around that range um uh, let's try 122 what would that be oh yeah that's actually what i thought was the dragon egg yes uh -huh got the dragon egg baby uh any others uh how about 150 i know 360 is the melon otherwise i'd be doing that so 150 no idea what 150 is oh what what did something just light up or maybe let's toggle this down for all let's try that again so oh it produces a bit of a light source. Huh. That's a redstone comparator. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, that should wrap up today's video, guys. Um, I am back, and I'm sorry I was gone so long that I wasn't moving, but, um, still coding, still coding, Tiger Star. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, but, I mean,. He hasn't been coded yet, but I'm, I'm almost ready. I, I think he'll be ready in a couple weeks or so. I'm not sure, but, um, I'm not, I don't know really, but.
I'm I promise I will get him in as soon as I can without holding back my videos and um yeah. So uh, my videos might be a little less frequent now, but um I'll still be um but I'll still be posting as many as I can. So um yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and join the Power Club today. And also and also join the Power Club community in Google Plus. Um and um not to say that at the end of any every video, don't worry. And yeah. please leave a like and comment and um I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Goodbye.